Juan Felipe Herrera, thank you so much for joining us and speaking with us. Your poetry is so much about breaking borders, about overcoming them with language, with memory. And I was wondering what you thought about Trump uh, already taking steps to build the border wall that he's talked about so much. Um, I'm sure it has a lot of symbolism for you. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? It's a terrible crime to border people off. Uh, people are starving, people are suffering. People are trying to uh, keep their children alive and themselves alive and their families alive back home. But there is violence and poverty as well. So to stop them and, and, and uh, build a wall to prevent them from crossing and treat them as animals and put them in uh, cages and uh, sleep on the floor with a, with a light, thin wool blanket and water, uh, that is not right. It just is not right. Uh, no matter what ideology you have, no matter what point of view you have, you have to pull back and uh, open your heart and see that these are human beings like you. And you also have moved and you ha also have families that have migrated in the past and your ancestors have done the same. So let us not pretend uh, we're only on one side looking at another side. We're all involved. And it's a time of world migration. It's a time of war. And it is, that is not good. Many people are, uh, all, all they have is a handful of rubble. They don't even have food or bread or water, all just handfuls of rubble. And they're running for their lives as well. So it's time to find positive solutions, collaborative solutions, and embracing each other and holding on to each other, providing sanctuary for each other. That's, that's, what, that's what I feel, that's my experience. And what role do you think your poetry or art in general can play in terms of helping people get at the truth in a world where we're increasingly bombarded with contradictory information? We have to speak our own, uh, uh, the news of our heart. We have to present the news of our heart and the news of our expansive vision. Human beings uh, have a beautiful gift and it's called an ex expansiveness, vision, uh, open knowledge, and uh, a deep uh, uh, ability to embrace others uh, openly. Uh, so we have to express ourselves very publicly, uh, write very publicly, and uh, show who we are very publicly. Uh, we have uh, uh, buildings filled with billboards of uh, items that are being sold. And we are bombarded on the, in the media and the commercials with selling products and buying products every 15, 10 minutes. For five minutes we get, who knows, 10, 15 commercials. And uh, we need a uh, presence. The people need presence to be present in the public eye. Their stories to be present in the public spheres, in the media, on the buildings, on billboards, in schools, on the streets, in community centers, in hospitals, in doctor's offices. We need to be out there so our humanity uh, can be uh, recognized and we can be recognized, not unrecognized, not hidden and not pushed back into invisibility. What does it mean to you to be the nation's first uh, Latino poet laureate at a, in a period of so much divisiveness? It means a lot to me, you know, I'm here to promote literature, I'm here to promote poetry, I'm here to promote people's expressive selves, I'm here to promote creativity, and most of all I'm here to listen and to uh, meet people and to support them, uh, all ages, all communities, all colors and cultures, and embrace them uh, as much as possible uh, by uh, letting them know that they have a beautiful voice and they are very worthy human beings. That's, that's my main mission. So that's what I'm here for. And I'm also here for, um, uh, you're right, uh, uh, assisting people and letting them know that they can generate their own news, their own uh, sense of who they are, their own sense of what's going on. We need to do that because it, we're not in a vacuum. The more we present who we are, the less we will present it with who we should be. The more we present who we are authentically, our culture, our immigrant uh, experience, our migrant experience, uh, women's experience, vision, children, people of color, transgender, all of us of all, all, all uh, countries and creeds. The more we present ourselves, the less uh, we, there is the, the less we will be told to uh, how we should present ourselves. And um, that's very important. We need to be human beings, humanity, number one. As a poet who seeks to get at the truth with words, I'm curious about your thoughts on one word in particular. When referring to immigrants who come to the U.S. illegally, journalists, at least at NPR um, and KPBS, 
have refrained from using terms like illegals or aliens, uh, but our president has, has chosen to use these words. What do you think of, about those words and what they mean? Well, I'm not going to comment on the president at all. Uh, I, I can tell you that when we talk about uh, human beings as uh, uh, objects, like aliens, especially the word alien, uh, it's like from outer space or something. It's like a bizarre, imagi uh, imag uh, imagined uh, thing, a bizarre imagined thing. Would you like to be called alien, a bizarre uh, fantasy thing? I don't think so. It reduces a human being to, to something uh, 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 dehumanized. So that has to go. Uh, illegal is the same thing. Ill illegal and illegal, those are, those are uh, uh, that's a legalistic language, that's court language. Uh, that's uh, uh, a judicial language. It does not apply to a person's identity. Ask that person how they identify themselves. They're not gonna say, I'm an illegal alien. So let us respect uh, who people are. Let us respect ourselves. That has to go. And my experience since I was a child, I've seen all this happen day in and day out with my students and uh, with human beings. And this, the, our relationship with Mexico uh, has to radically change and Latin America and the world. And lastly, do you foresee your poetry changing at all in response to what we're seeing politically? Or perhaps is it already changing? Well, everything is always changing. Nothing has to be, nothing is, needs to be pushed into changing. It's an organic, we live in an organic flow of uh, feedback and response. Uh, at the same time, yes, a lot of the poets and artists right now, oh, you know, we're at work. You know, we're, we're at work. We're rubbing our hands like this, and we're at work. Uh, the writing, the songs, performances, murals, painting, a lot of poetry, a lot of spoken word. That's right. Why is that? Because we are human beings and we respond to what takes place in our lives, in our environment, in our society, in our cities, in our homes, in our lives. So that's what we do. And artists, that's, that's even more what we do. We, we love to respond. That's why we do art. We love to uh, observe. That's why we do art. But everyone is an artist also. So let us promote the artist in all of us and respond. There's not only one way. Not, you don't have to follow my way. I don't even know if I have a way. I want always to be open. I want freedom. Remember that word? Freedom? That's what we need to, that needs to be our guiding light. So let us respond so we can be free even more every day. Uh, and yes, poets are writing a big old stack of poetry as we speak. <laughs>